The next and final chapter in the Fast and Furious series, Fast X Part 2, is here! Fast X kicks off the grand finale by throwing our main man, Dom Toretto, and his crew into a showdown with a seriously intimidating new baddie named Dante Reyes, played by the formidable Jason Momoa. Reyes is out for vengeance over his old man's demise, and he's got Dom squarely in his crosshairs, along with the rest of the gang. Talk about drama! Now, if you caught the last flick, you know it left us hanging on the edge of our seats, wondering what's next for our beloved characters. Well, fear not. The saga continues with an 11th installment hot on the heels of Fast X, promising to tie up all those loose ends and bring us to the epic conclusion we've been waiting for. But hey, don't go revving your engines just yet. Details about the grand finale are still pretty scarce. Looks like we'll just have to wait and see what twists and turns the Fast and Furious team has in store for us this time around. The upcoming movie, Fast and Furious 11, marks the final chapter of the beloved Fast saga. The news of this conclusion was accompanied by the revelation that the preceding film, Fast X, would kickstart the franchise's ultimate journey. Initially planned as a two-part finale, it later evolved into a trilogy, with Vin Diesel sharing the intent. However, following the lukewarm response to the 10th installment, it's highly likely that Fast and Furious 11 will serve as the franchise's swan song. Fast and Furious 11 faces the challenge of resolving the cliffhangers left by Fast X and providing a satisfying closure to the entire series. With the diminishing performance of recent films, it seems like the right moment for Universal to bid farewell to the franchise. In Fast and Furious, some members of Dominic Toretto's crew have met their demise, with only a few remaining permanently gone, notably Vince and Elena. In Fast X, Dante's objective is to inflict loss upon Toretto, similar to the pain he endured when his father was killed in Fast Five. It's evident that not all members of the Fast and Furious family will make it through the confrontation with Dante, signaling the franchise's impending conclusion. The climax of Fast X features a catastrophic plane crash, leaving the fate of key characters such as Roman Pierce, Tej Parker, Han Lu, and Ramsey uncertain. Even Dominic and his son Brian are caught in an explosion that should have been fatal. The opening of Fast and Furious 11 may be marked by tragedy as it reveals the fate of these characters if any survived. Before the release of Fast and Furious 11, fans can anticipate another spin-off titled Hobbs and Reyes, which is yet to receive an official release date. In a surprising post credit scene in Fast X, it's revealed that the antagonist, Dante Reyes, has set his sights on a new target following Dominic Toretto's apparent demise. Dwayne Johnson's character, Luke Hobbs, who has been absent from recent Fast and Furious films, will return in this spin-off to confront Reyes before the events of Fast and Furious 11. While the exact connection between the Hobbs and Reyes spin-off and the larger franchise remains uncertain, it's evident that the events will bridge the gap between Fast X and Fast 11. The spin-off might feature Hobbs assembling a new team to combat Reyes, who seeks revenge for his father's death. Viewers can expect the spin-off's conclusion to seamlessly lead into the beginning of Fast and Furious 11, setting the stage for the series' ultimate resolution. While the next installment in the Fast and Furious series has been informally dubbed Fast X Part 2, it hasn't been officially titled yet. The franchise has evolved significantly from its origins in street racing, morphing into a high-octane spy thriller saga over time. However, recent rumors suggest that the upcoming 11th movie will take the series back to its roots, focusing on street racing and delivering a more grounded storyline. This news comes as a surprise, particularly considering the extravagant plot of Fast X. After the larger-than-life events of the previous film, returning to street racing seems like a regression. Fans will have to wait and see how the grand finale of Fast X leads into a more down-to-earth 11th installment. While discussions surrounding the conclusion of the Fast and Furious series have primarily focused on which characters will meet their demise, there's speculation that some may make a surprising return from the dead. Gal Gadot's character, Giselle Yashar, seemingly perished in Fast and Furious 6 but makes a comeback in Fast X, suggesting she's not the only one to defy death. In Fast and Furious 11, there's potential for other characters presumed dead to resurface. 
Kurt Russell's Mr. Nobody, whose fate was left uncertain after his plan was attacked in F9 The Fast Saga, and John Cena's Jacob Toretto, believed to have met his end in Fast X, could make unexpected returns. Such resurrections could set the stage for a grand finale that incorporates elements from throughout the series. Despite the tremendous success of Furious 7, which remains the highest-grossing film in the franchise, Fast X was produced with an exceptionally high budget, estimated to be as much as $340 million, according to the numbers. This figure is notably over $100 million more than the budget of the original 2001 film. Recognizing the challenge of turning a profit with such a hefty budget, Universal Pictures has reportedly opted for a significantly smaller budget for Fast and Furious 11, although the exact amount hasn't been disclosed yet. This decision appears prudent on Universal's part. While Fast X didn't flop at the box office, it fell short of its ambitious financial projections, hinting at a waning interest in the franchise, particularly in the U.S., Utilizing a smaller budget for the next installment seems like a safer bet, rather than risking another massive investment that may not yield substantial returns. Originally anticipated to debut earlier, Fast and Furious 11 faced possible delays due to the writers' and actors' strikes in 2023. As of now, the highly anticipated conclusion to the action-packed franchise is set to premiere on April 4, 2025, barring any further setbacks. Production for the next installment is slated to commence in spring 2024, providing a tight filming schedule if the film intends to meet its release date. However, with only approximately a year between the start of filming and the scheduled premiere, a delay for Fast 11 seems probable. Nonetheless, fans can expect the sequel to still grace theaters at some point in 2025. Dante Reyes, portrayed by Jason Momoa, emerged as a standout antagonist in Fast X, captivating audiences with his portrayal. However, speculation arose following the film's release, suggesting that Vin Diesel might have reservations about Momoa's character overshadowing the franchise's focus. Consequently, there are rumors circulating that Fast and Furious 11 could introduce a different primary villain, potentially sidelining Dante. Omitting Dante from Fast and Furious 11 could prove to be a significant misstep. Fast X carefully positioned Momoa's character as an ideal antagonist for the franchise's culmination, and abandoning his storyline now would leave fans unsatisfied and diminish the impact of the finale. While conflicts between actors and production teams are not unprecedented in the series, overlooking a character of Dante's caliber could pose a risk to the overall narrative. Louis Leterrier, known for directing The Incredible Hulk, stepped in to direct Fast X after Justin Lin's unexpected departure during production. With Universal apparently satisfied with the outcome of Fast X, Leterrier is anticipated to return to helm the upcoming sequel. Retaining Leterrier for the second part of Fast X is a sensible decision. Given that the two films are conceived as parts of a cohesive narrative, having continuity in the directorial vision helps maintain a consistent tone throughout Fast X and Fast 11. This ensures that the overall feel of the franchise remains coherent and cohesive. Well, that's it for today. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.